So this is the injector unit. Um, it's self-contained. Um, this is the, the black control box, a, a conventional main socket on the back, power switch on the top, and the control unit on the front. This just displays um, the uh, the actual temperature of the injector and the temperature that you set the injector and use these buttons to change those. And there's some other modes you can go into which you don't normally use. This is the injector barrel itself. Um, it's all made of stainless steel. It consists of um, the, the funnel, which you put the pellets in. Normally the uh, piston is standing here, so the pellets go in here. They get heated in the barrel itself, which is this tube here. So it's made a separate part from this, but very closely fitting. Well engineered, you can detach it here. This is the heater sleeve, and then the uh, plastic um, comes out the injector at the bottom here. Um, it's supported on these uh, two rods, which are adjustable by the wing nuts at the back, so you can um, change the distance, change the distance of the injector in and out. Um, this slot at the back is to locate the device on the upright column of your press drill, so you can, by varying this angle here and this distance here, you can move the um, injector barrel further away from or closer to the column of the column drill. Um, you can see the wiring disappears in here, two wires, one for the heater, one for the um, temperature sensor, which is a thermocouple. The wiring disappears inside this orange gantry and emerges in this box here. There's a, a nylon um, gasket here, so there's no danger of um, chafing. There's another nylon gasket where um, the wiring emerges into the control box. There's also a, a backing plate, um, a galvanized steel backing plate in here to make sure this is robustly held on here. It's held with two uh, nuts and bolts. Um, it's a completely sealed unit. It's sprayed. Um, as you can see, the paint is not perfect. It's been used. Um, it's a second-hand machine, but it's um, it's very tidy. It's a self-contained unit. Take it down, put it in the cupboard, or um, or leave it up. Your choice, really. I'll just turn it on for you so you can see very briefly um, the controls at work. So I'll plug that in. Plug this in the back here. Turn the unit on. Um, I don't want to leave it on for long because it will get hot, but it goes for a start sequence, which now is now finished. So this, the current temperature of the injector, as measured by the thermocouple, is 28 degrees, 9. It's rising because the heat is on. The heat is on because we've got the set temperature at 200, so the temperature will continue to rise, and then it would maintain it at 200. It's 42 degrees. I don't want to get it any hotter than that. Um, I think that's all there is to say about it, really. It's very easy to operate. Um, although it's not necessarily very easy to get perfectly injected parts, that's not because of the machine, it's because of the expertise needed um, to use the machine competently. And that's about um, setting the right melt temperature, having a mould that's well designed and well built um, experience really. Um, but this machine will give you um, lots of fun, and lots of parts um, and uh, a nice learning curve to keep you busy in your shed. So there's the mould, uh, just uh, in the clamp, push it under the injector, make sure it's centred under the injection hole, uh, straight into the sprue of the mould. Um, and then when you're ready, pull down smartly uh, until uh, the mould is full and you'll either feel a resistance or you'll see some oozing in this case, far too much oozing. Then you uh, maintain pressure for a little while and then you take the mould out, let go of the plunger and that goes up. Here's the mould. This is all a bit hurried, but just want to give you a, a, a feel for things. And there's, there's the, the part in the mould. Um, and then it's a question of taking it out of the mould. Um, this is just a demonstration, so I'm not really bothered about the part itself. And in fact, the mould isn't a great one. And the part is just um, to, to test the machine, to make sure the machine has got no problems with injecting plastic into moulds. So there is the part. It's free. It's very hot, and uh, it's still a bit flexible because it's um, because it's hot. I should have let it cool down. But anyway, um, there it is. This is an example of another mould. It's the first one we ever made, and it's quite crude, but it worked perfectly well. And what it made was um, hose unions like this. These needed to be finished with a drill, though, but perfectly adequate. This is just an example to show you what you can what you can do. This is a cord mould. The intention here was to make a hose union with um, the, the holes already removed in the core. So it's a three-piece core. Um, 
just an example of the sort of thing that you might want to do.